мають користуватися цією демократією, і учасники демократії мають розуміти. Friends of the democracy, they are users of the democracy, and that means they have to understand this approach, what, what democracy is. That means that they have to be engaged. People have to feel this process because they are going to use it. And it doesn't mean whether we are talking about a uh, certain uh, narrow circle of people involved in oil trading or people who are involved in certain municipal issues. I'm not going to stress the issue of participation. There is a very good analog uh, in Ukrainian, which is called public participation, citizen participation, conscious participation of citizen. Participation, this is the classical definition both in European and in global space is the response to the situation when democracy became plastic ones. The bureaucrats, the people in power, are start making up ways how to protect themselves from people. So therefore, they came up with plastic democracy. So we have formal websites, formal consultations. Uh, they uh, publish information that there were certain events, but people feel not included. And it means that people are not engaged into the process. There are lots of things that can be a matter of our discussion, but I'm talking, I'm going to talk about a very small aspect, which is electronic participation. There has been lots of major initiatives related to budget things, uh, checking information on civil servants, and they work. But the only problem that we still face is that the majority of people, and actually I'm not talking about even common citizens, but lots of civic activists are not ready for this new wave of new tools, websites, gadgets, etc. They are not engaged into this process. And this wave is going to cover us. So uh, the example in many countries, even uh, in Poland, uh, are services and certain things that started very well, but when the project was over, these uh, things uh, did not um, uh, were extrapolated onto the whole country. Uh, so the field of electronic participation means that we have to take into account lots of things, but I'll be talking about certain narrow aspects which are present in Ukraine. Electronic participation, including the general participation, means that probably the biggest block is the high quality uh, informing of the public that allows me to use the state information Information, municipal information on a daily basis. I am a common citizen, I am the user of this information, and I take the decision on the basis of this information. The second part is electronic consultations. Again, uh, I'm talking from my own position. We have distorted consultations. We have one-step actions. Something has been changed, something has been adopted. But still, we do not have this inclusive consultation that inspires certain aspects of our life. We are at the stage where we replace the idea of consultation uh, with the monologue. And probably the greatest threat for me is that behind all these gadgets and solutions, we come up with. We are starting talking about electronic elections. We, are st we still haven't learned how to debate something, but we already want uh, uh, electronics to control certain process. So we only started the process of a consultation, and we already are talking about electronic decision making. We can talk about e participation index, which uh, is done by UNDP. UNDP, as well as some other organizations, try to follow all these processes. And here we are talking about two components, development of electronic governance and electronic participation. And um, there is a very interesting point when I was preparing to this presentation. 
South Korea was the first, is the first in e-participation index. Ukraine is number 77. Ukraine, for uh, recent two years, has improved its position, so now it is number 76 in this index. And I think that uh, this process has started in uh, 2013, but what I want to demonstrate uh, in this graph, you see the development of uh, electronic governance and e-participation in uh, South Korea. Uh, a revelation for me was that during these three, uh, during uh, recent three years, these two notions, e-participation and e-governance, go hand in hand, so they do not include exclude each other. Uh, in the same way, it should be developed in Ukraine. They should be harmonized because there are certain basic services, basic tools, there are certain basic competence and understanding. And uh, I'm very afraid of uh, the fact that only IT specialists will be involved in building electronic uh, services, electronic governance or electronic participation. There are three components of electronic participation, technologies, citizens, but also there are processes like state governance, understanding of certain state things, which cannot be excluded from all this picture. And unless we improve the situation, we can easily uh, dig digitalize the chaos and we'll be living in that chaos later. Electronic democracy, electronic government presupposes that there is electronic citizen who is able to uh, use these electronic services. Our organization has uh, conducted a research regarding the condition uh, the state of uh, the civic com organizations using CT um, services in Ukraine. So lots of people were participating in this research and we can see that social networks and websites and Google services use it. But people are not included. Experts who are striving for changes in the society do not understand why they need these tools. And I'm talking about all the regions, including Kyiv. It means we give people electronic democracy, electronic services and tools, but people do not use it because they have very low level of competence. So without explaining all these things, without promoting it, uh, we are not going to achieve success in this respect. Today there has been a very interesting presentation about surveillance. We know that Big Brother is watching us. Everybody is watching us, supervising us, so to say. Only 30% of NGO in Ukraine use security systems. I'm talking about replicating data, antivirus systems. Therefore, it's very we cannot say that civic society is included into this process of protecting data. I'm not going to provide any successful examples of e-governance and e-participation. Really, there are lots of cases uh, where you can see uh, how it works. Uh, in Ukraine, we have launched a very interesting and modern idea, budget participation. And we managed already to distort certain things, to make them in a different way. Nowadays, budgeting participation partially are, are given to the uh, community, or when people may participate in this process. And really, these are people who understand why they need this process, why they need these budgets. But at the same time, there is a problem that we are already changing the approach from the very beginning. Yes, um, there are big companies, it is possible to get funding, and this wave is uh, spreading all over Ukraine, but it is not always efficient. I was born in Vinnytsia region, and I live in that region, and I may say that certain elements were introduced in this region. We were successful, we used, for, for instance, e electronic cabinets, and uh, it is used for uh, voting, but anyway, still uh, we were faced with the problem 
For instance, I have taken the example of Polish documents and Polish tools. So at the beginning, we are going to talk about the principles we are going to use. And Polish experience regarding ethical standards on introducing a budget is uh, what is important at the first stage. We have to understand why we need this budgeting, participation budgeting, why we need this e-governance. And only after this, we have we may use the tools. Finally, there are lots of are still unsettled uh, issues in Ukraine. Definitely, we have to build on the tools. We have to change people in power. We have to uh, introduce reforms. But uh, definitely, electronic governance is impossible without certain basic approaches. There are certain uh, key principles, uh, like responsibility, both on the uh, the part of people in power and on the part of the civic society. For instance, one of the civic organizations has mentioned the uh, register of people's uh, assistance of people's deputies by a special word. Uh, I do not understand the situation, uh, but I, I Probably our foreign guests do not know our, uh, the situation, but uh, all the Ukrainian people know what I'm talking about. Security. Really, if we are going to uh, to strive, to struggle for budget for funding, we have to be ready uh, for the fact that we are supposed to be protected. We are to be secure. And I'm not sure that even big civic organizations are ready to protect themselves. Transparency. It's not only about power. Open codes, uh, releasing uh, new tools. We should become transparent ourselves. And as I have already exceeded my time, we really have a chance not only to build, but we have to build something that will work in future. We uh, have a chance to build responsible tools. We have a chance to build a good future uh, which will shape our life. Thank you. Uh, and we have a question for you as well. You have mentioned regarding the presentations and uh, you have mentioned that we have to understand what is real. You were talking about the fact that we cannot replace real participation with something else. So we really have to understand the depth. So how we recognize what is deep, what is superficial. Uh, we have to understand how many people, conscious people, are included into the process and how uh, much ready they are to to be involved, to be engaged. The, um, the better is the initiative, the more certain solutions are generated by these initiatives, the longer this idea will live. But there is another point. Very often there are certain good decisions that are, do not require lots of people at the first stage. You have to promote certain philosophy which is behind the product. Uh, if people are not behind the product. This product is not uh, viable.